everyone, it's Isaki. So I was asked by Jessica Newberry to go ahead and make a video about wearing Lolita to work and how you can kind of work around the uh, requirements of uniform or dress code or whatever it is that they have, which Lolita is a lot easier to wear to work than a lot of other fashion styles like Fairy K or something, but I do know that I have gotten away with a couple other things. So real quick about my work experience. Um, my first job was as a courtesy clerk at a grocery store, not a place you can incorporate Lolita at. I did incorporate decorate things like adding hair clips and like fun bracelets and necklaces and stuff like that. We did have a uniform of wearing an ugly yellow shirt with black pants. Um, at Frozen Yogurt Shop I did the same thing. We had a specific shirt to wear with jeans, so I incorporated decora fun stuff with that. Um, for Lolita though, I'm able to incorporate it at places that require um, professional dress. Sorry, my cats are getting things. So if your work does require a professional dress code or semi-professional, if they don't have a dress code at all, you can get away with wearing Lolita as long as it's not OTT. Uh, real quick too, this shadow is not a person outside my window. It's actually a giant depth cutout in case you're wondering about that or it's freaking you out. It's um, Jack Sparrow, actually. Quick. Jack Sparrow. I have him in my window for entertainment purposes because I like to be whimsical and fun and... So yeah, that's Jack Sparrow in my window. So <laughs> now you guys all know. So I'll go ahead and change into a few outfits and then come back and show you what I'm doing. Hopefully the brightness on this camera will cooperate and right now I've just got really basic plain makeup on. So I'm not going to do anything too fancy. Um, the easiest styles to do is, like I said, boy style, Kodona, Aristocrat. You can do gothic and sweet and everything. Classic Lolita is definitely really easy. My main poners is that you don't wear as many petticoats or a big petticoat. Wear something a little bit smaller if you're going to wear one. Or you can just skip it all together. Uh, I mean, this is to work so it is more casual Lolita than it is something that you're going to wear out with your friends or do professionally. Um, usually I just wear like one little petticoat. I don't wear anything too elaborate or too big. I stick with more muted tones or more plain patterns. Um, anything that's really fancy, like really, really fancy, I do not recommend wearing because you're just out and about and you know, just, you don't want to put yourself in a position where it might accidentally get something happen to it. You know, and you will feel a little bit out of place because you're probably going to be the most fanciest, you know, unless people come to work and they're wearing suits. Um, so it really just depends on like what kind of job you have, what your dress code is. So, like I said, I'll go ahead and put on a couple outfits I've actually worn to work many times. Um, I even had like professional dress in school every week because of the classes I was taking. Uh, so yeah, we'll just go from there. Yeah. All right. So first up is this look. Um, like I said, you're just gonna be taking like a spin on Lolita. So this is more of like an aristocratic boy style. Nothing really too fancy. Um, because you want to be functional in it. I don't know if it's gonna be a sit-down job or walk-around job. Um, I have a couple different types of shirts like this that are just long sleeve, lots of frills, and I added this kind of corset-like belt to it, which I actually got from Claire's for a dollar or something. I um, just got my hair pulled back into ponytail, and my ponytail isn't really strained right now, i got really puffy hair. So this, and then black slacks. Um, I'm not wearing a hat because most of your works won't be able to allow you to wear hats and headpieces, so keep that in mind. Um, I'll show you a couple alternatives to that. But basically, this is something that I used to wear all the time, every day, just so much. And I do want to get like some OEG fancy um, jackets and everything because I love, I love, love, love all the boy styles of Lolita so much, so, so much. Yeah. <laughs> I used to dress like this in high school all the freaking time. Uh, my nickname was like the prince. I was the prince in high school. So, yep. And all my girls, all my friends were the princesses and I would treat them as such. So, yeah. Anyways, not too bad to see. Ta da! Okay, so here's my other look. Um, this is just my body line carousel skirt. And I just have one very small petticoat underneath it. Um, I added the bow 
up top that came with it. And then I just had my hair in like a little bun and I added some sparkly doodads and I got the waist size to this. And normally I would recommend staying away from like your fancy Mary Janes or your really, really high heels because when I wore them to work, I noticed that somehow they got a little bit more messed up. Maybe because I'm at a sit down job and I kind of kick my feet or something. I don't know, but it's hard to keep track of them and make sure that they're in good position or good standing like eight, nine hours later. So I would recommend maybe just wearing flats, like if you have little black flats, little white ones or whatever you have um, with the high socks or with tights with this. Yeah, like I said, you can't wear hard headdresses or anything to work, so I just put my hair up in a little bun. Nothing really fancy right now because it's really, really hot recording this. I have to keep my air conditioning off so you don't hear the stupid background noise. But this is just another cute alternative. Um, you use like your not really fancy, this is an off-brand black blouse that I've had for a really long time. I don't know if you can see the details, but it's got a little bit of like stripedy pattern. Yeah, you can't really tell. Eventually, I'll get a better camera so you can tell. Sorry, there's a bunch of stuff going on outside. All right, so I'll change into another outfit, which won't be um, too far away from this. Whoa! Okay, so here's my third one. Um, so all these outfits you really see me wearing in my other videos. Uh, this is just the Antique Clock from Body Lion OP. And I put my hair in a side braid this time with a little ribbon round. Um, just a necklace instead of the neckties. Um, again, one petticoat and I would wear tights and flats with this. Um, just some simple little jewelry. It's nothing too fancy. Um, I do have the bow. I could add right here and back if I wanted to. It just depends on whatever you're wanting. Um, but generally I keep it a little bit more, like I said, toned down when I wear it to work. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here because it's really, really hot now and I'm just dying. But mainly, just keep in mind that when you wear Lolita, don't wear your fanciest of fanciest. And keep it toned down. So if you have any other questions, go ahead and ask them below. If you have any suggestions or wants for videos, again, leave them below. And please subscribe because I make videos every week. And let me know if this helped you out. May the force be with you. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.